How's it going, everyone? I wanted to do a quick update on DJT as a lot of people are like, well, why is it going down? Um, look at the massive move up we've had. And, and this is the same thing as always. Every time there is a catalyst, a, a thing coming up, whether it be, um, you know, landing on the moon with Lunar or Trump getting elected as president, they're going to have a sell the news type of thing because the hype is over the, the the volatility dies out and you know people move on to other things and you can see right in here um we've had this massive uptrend look at this data price range from the low of 1175 to high of 54 you have made 364 percent in literally like a month of time here so from 924 to you know in one month it had this big massive move up and so now that it has corrections people are like well what's going on i liked it down in here for initial bounce when it hit this EMA 20, I liked it down in this area. It's okay if it goes a little under. And what happens is we had these nice little bounces from these lows to the highs. We made a 58% run. Now, do I want to keep playing it? No, because a lot of the times, um, up, you know, the, these things don't have to keep bouncing on it. Now we're right back here at this area here. If we break this area, I would just say move on. Right in here is your clear support. If we go under quite a bit, this is not an uptrend anymore because it's gone too far below the EMA 20. We have broke levels here. We want to make sure, you know, are we maintaining a, a nice uptrend? And, and um, that's the main thing here. I'm trying to look for, uh, uh, let me see, uh, trend line here. You can kind of see... You know, we're, we're trying to, like, maintain something. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. But that's kind of what we're seeing here. Are we going to make a new low? If it goes any lower than this, then obviously we're not making higher lows. Here, Here is our low here. If this don't hold in here, then it's most likely going to keep going down. And you can often find, oftentimes um, form a downtrend here. And this could be the new trend here. So, like I said, we had this big, massive uptrend from here the lows all the way here you can see that we're forming and then um and now we're kind of like you know what are we doing here we, we're, we're kind of like breaking out of this downtrend or this uptrend so my my analysis is you know i've called this thing many times i said one we, we should never buy djt up in this red band here you you can see why is it colored red is because i would be looking to short or buy puts and where would i be looking for this to go down to well it should be go down to the EMA 5, 10, and 20. Those are your reversion of the means. And if you don't know about those, those are exponential moving averages. And that is a for sure way of reversion to the mean. That's the one thing that is guaranteed in the market. I repeat, that is guaranteed in the market. Anything you see in the market here, what are what is going on? We go to this green band here. Well, I am a buyer there. Does it have to be super precise? Can, I, can it go lower? Sure it can. But I'm a buyer there and I use other things like time distance, a KDJ, and um, what is my you know risk versus reward? And when we go up to these areas, you can see, look at this, this was a 61%. If you bought options and you bought calls and you do my strategy and you can get precise entries, you're going to make freaking bank doing that, right? Anyone can see in hindsight, like this one wasn't in, unfortunately, it did not quite hit my buy zone here. But this one, I can guarantee you, we did alert this, and um, we were talking about in the Discord and made massive money for everyone. And, and that's the kind of the plays I look for. I look for trend reversals. I don't want to get caught in this hype. I don't want to be buying DJT in the $40 range, $50 range. And then people wonder, well, why is it going down? Sell the news. It is a sell the news type of event. They don't have a lot of revenue. It's not supposed to be a long hold. It's supposed to make you a momentum type of play. Now, if you bought it in my buy zone, then sure. Yes, you should be, you're golden if you bought in here. And this is the same thing. You see how you have this downtrend and then we form an uptrend coming up. In the downtrend, what are you guaranteed to hit? Well, you're guaranteed to hit the EMA 20, the 10, and the 5. Where is your resistance? The 20. Does it sustain that? No, it hits this and goes down. And so when you get a lot of time distance from the EMA 5, it's my most favorite. What happens is you get these nice bounces and if you're doing options, you know this is a 23% that is massive for options, just to this EMA 5. So in the uptrend, you're still going to hit these EMAs, and that's what it is. It goes up, and you hit this. Now, do we keep going lower? If they don't reclaim this EMA 20, then I, it, it's not going to be an uptrend. You can fight it all you want. You're going to lose a lot of money if you're stubborn. You have to have a stop loss, and that's why I said 
trend reversals are my favorite strategy. I get in early, I get in when it's depressing, around $12, nobody liked DJT, but now everyone wants it at $40, $50, $30 range. And that's just the sad reality. Retail traders like it when things go up, but they don't like it when they go down, and then they, ended up, they end up losing tons and tons of money because of that um, mindset they have. Um, you're more than welcome to try this system. Like I said, um, we, we play both sides of the coin. When we are overextended, we buy puts down in these areas, make massive money. And then once this right here is a neutral zone, nothing for me to really get. I bought right in here on the EMA 20. Uh, I sell the news, sell the hype event. Was I sh for sure this could go up? No, but I had a stop loss around 10%. And now I don't want to play anymore. I like to play it just one time on that uptrend bounce. And that's about it, guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys do want to join the Discord, you're more than welcome to join. Um, you can click the link down below in the YouTube comments below. It'll say join the premium discord for my alerts and system. It'll be in my description too. You can't miss it. But, um, if once you click that link, you'll be in, the, uh, take you to this free chat landing page. Please read how to subscribe. If you have an Android, you'll have to subscribe on your phone's browser or just do your computer. And it is best because you save on the iOS fee. And then after you do that, you can use your phone just as fine. For some reason, they're just having problems with Android. And then um, also hit day trade alerts. That will give you the access to the highest membership. It will be a shortcut. Or you can just head on over to Server Shop and you can see the two memberships are Swing Trading and Day and Swing Trading Plus. And both are very nice services. Day and Swing Trading Plus, only $12 and you get access to everything. It's very affordable. And let's just say you don't have much. Well, we also offer Swing Trading for six bucks a month and everything will be unlocked in these subscriptions like i said just hit day trade alerts and we'll get you access to everything cheaper if you subscribe on computer but um i just wanted to you know get that out as um we're a very nice community it's we look for a place like this a lot of people have ideas um like i said we with the the rally happening we i liked it right here for this pullback we had this nice um resistance here and kind of expected ema 20 to hit and then we had this nice bounce do i want to keep you know testing my luck no we just move on to another play all right guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a like subscribe comment let me know let me know what you think but like i said if it breaks this area um i think it's confirmed downtrend because then you have a newer low so i hope you get i hope to see you guys in the discord let's make some money peace out